viewers welcome back to my channel i am amdele ayes mayonnaise and you are watching talang tolu tolu tala aka double t if you want to know what that means check my other videos you would surely find it there okay so today i'll be talking about my regrets actually things i did not do before entering school that i feel i have regret about yeah basically that's what i want to talk about in this video okay i've heard a lot of people ask me questions like what do you do how do you handle issues like when your secondary school mate is trying to insult you because you're not in school yet what do you do like how do you approach such situations now for someone like me hmm who had to stay at home for years before I got admission? Like jump and University of Illinois really did me strong before I entered school. <laughs> this is my advice to you. Now, when you're leaving secondary school, all of us had a lot of dreams and vision. Like when we're in SST, we start talking. Okay, fine. When I'm done with SST, we are going to school. After four or five years, depending on your course, I would graduate. Then I would do my masters. If you want to go for PhD, do your PhD. Get a job. Get married. Start having children. Build my company. Those kind of dreams, yeah. But I've come to realize most times what we plan is different from what God plans for us. Like they say, man proposes, God disposes. So it's all in God's hands. Like He has a different plan for us. But what I want you to know is. If you get out of school, like SS3, and you don't get admission on time, now, you, like the old world has crumbled, like the old world has crumbled, that's falling down on you. No, it has not. It's just that what you thought for yourself might not be what God thought for you. Your plan and purpose for yourself might not be God's plan and purpose for you. So just make good use of your time at home. That is like one regret I have. I stayed years at home and I didn't make vital use of my time at home. Apart from the fact that I did A levels. Aside the fact that I did A levels, which was actually profitable because that was what I later used to enter school. But apart from that that fact, I feel I didn't make use of my time at, at home the way I would really want to make use of it. Or the way I should have made use of it. So this is my advice to you young people, please make good use of your time at home like make big use of it learn anything trade or go for training or anything just learn something if you're lucky and you get into a federal or a state school where you can actually use what you've learned trust me <laughs> you will make for yourself better than i am making for myself right now because i'm in a private university and there's little i can actually do for myself in school with what i learned later on but if you learn skills, you learn care training, you learn fashion designing, you learn computer training, just learn something. Trust me, it's easy for you when you get into school and you won't feel depressed. One of the reasons why we get like depressed as students when we are at home and our mates are in school is because we spend a lot of time on social media. Social media kills a lot of things. When I was at home, I spent a lot of time on social media. And I was looking at people's posts, my friends in school they were posting, some even tagged me on the picture, I don't even need to mock me, or some of them were actually doing this out of there. Yeah. Like free my like, you understand? But for me it was like they were mocking me because I wasn't in school. And that is the effect of social media. People tend to pretend, like use social media to pretend, but they, they are not pretending, they are really in school. I am not in school and it's affecting me. So you know for it not to feel like feel depressed get something doing and i don't mind is a devil a devil's workshop like they say do something don't waste all your time in one particular spot go out learn things don't stay in the confine of your home it really doesn't help doesn't work and try to equip yourself get more wisdom get knowledge get understanding from everywhere so when you get into school you won't look like a novice like make good use of your time at home like that is just the regret i have in school right now i'm not sad about the fact that i'm getting into school now and some of my mates are true or some of them are almost true and all that i believe i am going through my own time and that's another thing i'm going to say don't run your race according to someone else's race we are all created different 
and our timeline in life is different so don't try to pattern your own timeline according to your friend's timeline because okay your friend is going fast you see you want to go fast you will just fall like you would fall so please don't pattern yourself according to anybody be yourself being yourself is the best thing you can actually do for yourself at that particular point in time. Be grateful to God and happy for wherever position you find yourself. Because trust me, you won't remain there for life if you keep making a step. Taking a step, you won't remain there for life if you keep taking a step. If you keep doing something. But if you remain stagnant, trust me, people will pass you. In fact, your genius way, finish school, five, ten years, will we'll meet you for where you did. But just keep doing something while you're at it. Don't allow what people do get to you at all don't allow what people do get to you you are going to make it no matter if you work hard let me put it that way you're going to make it if you work hard you're going to make it if you do what you need to do so don't look at someone else the fact that someone finishes school before you doesn't mean the person will be better than you in future and the fact that you finish school five years after your mates are finished school does not mean you are a failure no you are not a failure till you make yourself one you're not a failure once you keep trying. Keep trying and keep failing doesn't make you a failure. But when you stop trying, you become a failure in life. You learn from every experiences you have. Learn. Like anything you do, just keep learning. If you stop learning, you start dying. So that's my advice to every young one. And I hope those young people who have been asking me questions, I hope you watch this and you learn one or two things from it. Please let me know in the comment section how you think someone who is has stayed at home can actually help their, themselves rather than getting depressed and frustrated because their mates are in school. Let me know in the comment section what you think and how you think anybody can be useful to themselves at home before getting into school. Okay, so I come away again next time. I remain on daily IS in the units and you. No. Before I go, if you've not subscribed, Please, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button. If you've not liked this post, please, is it not nice? And don't you like it? Don't you love it? Please, give it a thumbs up. If you have not, what was this to say? Please share the video, repost. You understand? Do everything good with the video. See, I come away again. I remember I'm the right now, Eunice. And you are watching Tala Tolo Tolo Tala, aka Double T. Do have a lovely day.